Okay, this is a workaround tutorial on how to get past Photoshop failing when you're trying to export from a timeline. In a perfect world, you'll be able to export right here from Photoshop by going to File, Export, and then there's a variety of options including Render Video. This should open up a Render Video dialog that would enable you to go, but on lots of times, depending upon the project, um, this video export will fail, as mine will here as it gets to the end. So when that happens or Photoshop crashes or otherwise it's not working, there is a workaround built in and that's what we're covering today. I'm going to cancel that and the program that we're going to use to export is going to be Adobe Media Encoder. The Media Encoder is generally installed on almost all computers that have Adobe on them. Um, it just kind of hides and runs in the background usually. To find the program, you're going to do a spotlight search, which is command spacebar. Hold it, just push it, and you're just going to type, I just like writing media because it's easier. And so media, Adobe Media Encoder. The other way to do a spotlight is the little um, magnifying glass up there. Once I open Adobe Media Encoder, what the this program does is it allows you to import various types of media and convert them to something else. You can turn Photoshop files to JPEGs or um, .mov files to .mp4 files what have you. It's basically, as it says, a, a media encoder that helps you smash stuff together. So it might take a minute to load, but once it does, the windows are relatively uh, simple. Here in the top right is where you're going to load your clips. So I'm going to click the little add button here. You're going to add whatever it is you want to um, render. You can see here is my PSD file we were just looking at that I want to render out. So I'll say open. It will load that up and then I have a few options for what to change it into. So all the things highlighted blue here. If you click the .h264 options, it will open the export settings window. I like H.264 because that makes MP4 files. So that's a good option, but you can see there's other ones here, PNGs and animated GIFs and everything else. But I'm going to keep that H.264 match the bit rate. There are options down at the bottom. Let's say you want to convert for YouTube or something. You could change that, but I'm just going to go with the match source here. This output name is uh, important to have it named well, but more important to know where it's going. So if I click on this, I can see, oh, I don't want it to go to my graphics folder. I just want this to go to my desktop. So I'll say there, and then I can change the name as I want. You can see the file format is MP4. When I say OK on this, It'll bring me back to this window, and I can load a bunch of these. Let's say I want to render a bunch overnight. Um, I would load a whole bunch up and then just go, you know, get dinner or whatever. But for this one, I will just click play. Down in the bottom now, it will show the encoding and kind of show a preview. Depending upon what you did to your file, it'll take different amounts of time. So if your Photoshop is failing to export, using Adobe Media Encoder to export it is a way to do your workaround. And once this is all done, that file, we're close enough that I'll show you what it does when it finishes. That file says done here. If I go to my desktop now, I should see on my desktop animated MP4 file of the animation that I did. And it will play smoothly, just like a movie.